So we can open your box and Ooh. Thank you guys for tuning in to another unboxing. I slept on these crazy because when a new iPhone come out, um, you're able to do your pre-order, I think like a few days before or something like that. And then you have to wake up early in the morning, put your order in. Once you're like one of the first people to put the, that first wave of orders, you get your phone like the next week or like two weeks or something like that. And I slept and I didn't put my order until like later on, like maybe, let me see. I think like six o'clock my time is when you're able to do the orders. Cause I did the same thing last year on my 13 and I was able to get 13 early. All right, let me stop playing with y'all. All right, so both iPhones made it. I'm gonna say the 14 extra, the 14 um, Max and a regular 14. So we're gonna open both of them up. They make it easy for you to open it. So let's see what's the first one that we are opening. I really, I really need an unboxing um, table because oh, this is the purple one. So this is Shelly's. I really do need an unboxing table. I can't just keep unboxing this thing here. I mean, the highlight is going to be this guy right here. So, let you guys hear that. Did you hear that? Pop that thing open. Oh, look how bigger the box is compared to the regular Pro. That's so funny. Like, look at that. You can see the difference. When they look with Apple, they have the easy tabs. You just pull and rip open. So we can open your box and Ooh. Oh. I was very anti-climatic, but it kind of popped out of there. What's really sad is that we have these phones and these phones are so beautiful, but we keep them in a case. Gold is so beautiful. Like when I first unboxed this phone, link above, make sure you check that out before you've been watching this. I, I don't know, this phone is so beautiful. Like I'm super amazed and Going to the 14 Pro, to be honest, it's probably it's not really a big difference. They're like very similar phones. Look how perfect the gold is when you don't touch it. Oh my god. Look at that. you see my reflection in the gold. It's crazy. Yeah, this thing is beautiful. But sheesh. And I I made a big boo-boo. Well, me and Charlie both did. We both didn't even get cases for these phones. Like what, what were we thinking? I have no idea. But this thing is just I see. Oh man, I'm a, look. I'm already getting fingerprints and stuff on the side, but that's okay. Oh, you hear that? Whew. Oh yeah, I don't got a screen protector for this thing either. I, I'm, I'm slacking. I'm gonna try to pick up a screen protector today. It's already trying to set up um this phone. You just put them next to each other and it'll transfer everything over. But I'll do that later today. I won't do that in this video. And this is what comes in the box. You guys know there's no bricks anymore, and it's very controversial for some reason. Some people was like. How dare Apple not have a brick, but I mean, they're, I mean, I guess it makes sense to make the packaging a lot smaller, but, but also how many bricks do you guys have in your house? You know, like if you're someone that upgrades your phone every year, you know, before they stop making bricks, you had, everyone had bricks in the house. So it's whatever, but you get a little um, booklet, charging cable, and that's pretty much it. So they're trying to you know, be more earth friendly with their packaging and stuff and you just gotta get your own brick. Um, so yeah, so I need to get a screen protector for this guy. I need to get a case for this guy, but oh man. I remember when this phone was brand new, when the 13 was brand new, it looked just like this, crazy. So one thing you will notice that on the side here, there is no SIM card slot. They got rid of it. Wait, is SIM card on this? No, it's on this side, I'm bugging. Oh yeah, it's on this side, I'm bugging. But yeah, as you can see here, so you can see there's no more SIM card tray because now Apple is using eSIM. Before we continue with my phone, let's do Shelly's. I know she's gonna be excited to see this thing. Dang. Oh, this thing is purple. Oh, this thing is purple, purple. I'm, I'm scared to even grab hers. Look at this thing, this thing is purple. Pretty cool. I believe these have a dynamic island too. Yep, it does. Shelly's gonna love this because she has the 13 right now, and every time she uses my phone, she always says like, "Oh, wow, your phone is way more." F wow, I can't even, I can't even put this on like how they did at Apple. Shelly always like, "Oh, your phone's way faster than mine," and 
I mean, she don't like the max. She think the max is too big, but this should be a perfect size for her versus her 13. So when she comes home, we'll put those side by side. Oh, yo, look how look how purple this thing is. This thing is purple. Had to interrupt the uh, the unboxing because speaking of phone cases, that's coming some phone cases. I got a phone case for me. I got a phone case for Shelly, and I got a screen protector. So. I'm gonna go pick those up and then we'll finish the unboxing. Hopefully I'm running a light. It's like rainy and looks crazy. Right, we made it back home. Shelly is gonna see her pro for the first time. Sorry for the crazy lighting, but this is why I got his camera. Look at the low lighting in here. This thing is bright. Over here is the fresh in the box. Open that John. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I'm not used to the wow. And get your get your uh your old your older phone. Oh, this is so pretty. It's the same size. Yeah, yeah, I had the right. No, I'm talking about your old phone. Um, what do you mean the right size? That's that's a pro. That's not the a, case. I mean, yeah, the case is for a pro. This is so pretty. I love the Look color. At the, you see how yours got that big notch up there? Mm -hmm. And then now you just got this little thing. And then you'll see apps will work with this. It, it's, it's fire. That's so, so cool. So unlock your phone. I'm over here showing the unboxing. I didn't even show you guys what we got. So we got clear auto box uh, symmetry plus cases. So one for me. Oh, that fell. One for Shelly. And same thing. I got her. The, actually, these are two different. Yeah. Are these two different ones? Hey. No. Yeah. And for the screen protectors, I picked up the Zag Invisible Shield. So one for me and one for Shelly. I was gonna go for, I wouldn't even go for the Otter Box. I was gonna go for a different uh, type of brand, but these were the ones available at Best Buy for like next hour pickup. So we actually got a trip we're going on tomorrow. So I couldn't ship nothing. So these two can work for right now and this thing's gonna work. We are back, it's the next day, and I have here the 14 Pro Max, 13. All right, before I really interrupt it, we have the 14 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, and we have the 11. Now, the only one we're missing is Shelly's uh, 14 Pro, but she's at work right now, so I can't show you guys that. But the purple on the 14 Pro is so beautiful. Even the pink on the 13 is actually pretty nice. It's a nice pink, it's the perfect pink. Shelly will love, but that purple pro goes crazy. Like, um, I'll probably do another video on the purple one another time because this video is gonna come out before Shelly gets home. But so far, the third, the 14 pro, it's a lot of numbers. The 14 pro, this thing has been super nice. This is a, for the 14, there's a feature called always on display, so the screen doesn't go full black like these two. It, dims your background and it keeps the time it's like a, a night light almost and even notifications will stack up there um that's a feature i'm gonna turn off because at night time i don't want this thing on at night you know i like it pitch black you know i don't i don't want to see you no know, nothing you know so i'm gonna turn that feature off it's pretty interesting and i also went into settings and i turned off a lot of um features that were on that I didn't need on. I won't turn this feature off yet because I'm showing you guys this video, but yeah, that's something I prefer to just go black like these. Also on the top, so I know I kind of kind of went over it a little bit, but you can see the difference in the in the in the little punch out up top. How uh, this one has the more of a pill and it's not connected to the top no more, and how wide this one is. But if you really look at this guy, it's not a full bar. It's literally the sensor and the camera is connected. I'm not gonna be able to show you on camera, but the camera by itself is a little circle, like smaller than my finger right there. And then the sensor is not this whole black bar. The sensor is a lot smaller, but what Apple did is they they just made this bar and connected the sensor and the camera together to make it look like this little pill, the, the whole dynamic island thing. But um, it's actually pretty cool. Like the when you're on apps, it'll show what app you're on, like the 13, it's just this is just a long phone you know like like even the normal pro these are how iphones normally would be and these were considered i guess big back then but now you get these maxes and these things is actually pretty big and if you put this thing in your pocket it, if you get in the car if you wear like sweatpants it's falling out your pocket like i have that's the only issue i have with this thing is it keeps falling out your pocket if your sweatpants on and uh, it's just a big 
tall foam. And especially if you add a case to it, it's pretty crazy. But the gold was always be my favorite and still is my favorite. I already know I wasn't going to be disappointed with the gold uh, 14 Pro. It's just as pretty as the, the 13. Some people might think that that whole dynamic island thing is not a big deal. But I've watched videos on this and it's pretty cool. When you're watching a video, it'll still, you know, it won't take up the whole screen, but it'll still be a, a square. So the dynamic island don't really put you, which is pretty cool. But my last vlog, make sure you check that out. Right out of the box though, with the new um, iOS that just came out, 16 point something. Um, most of your privacy stuff, uh, if I was you, I would go into settings and just check in your privacy stuff because everything is on. So like Apple can create specific ads just specifically for you. Apple can track your every location. Apple can do a bunch of stuff. And what's cool is even though it may sound crazy to some people, that's kind of how everything is now with technology. It tracks your every movement, your face, your voice, everything. You still can go in there and turn those off. So I recommend to go through those and turn some of those things off that you don't want on, like precise uh, location. Good example is like TikTok needing your precise location. Like that doesn't even make sense. You know, you can turn things like that off if you wanted to. So for the people that's thinking about maybe upgrading from the 13 to the 14 Pro for Pro, um, the only benefit that the 14 Pro has is the battery life is just a slight better. So instead of having like what Apple said, 28 uh, video playback, 28 hours video playback on the 13. Now it's 29 hours playback on the 14. So you get a little bit better battery life. The screen is brighter. The speaker is louder and more clear too. So they've upgraded that. The biggest thing is the camera. So you get 48 megapixels versus the uh, 24 chat before, but you still can only record uh, 4K. Even though you have 48 megapixels and a bigger sensor, you only can know record 4k 4k which both can do that it would have been fire if with the 14 since you have the bigger sensor 48 megapixels that you can record up to 8k i don't care about that i don't even record in 4k you know i do it sometimes but mostly i do 1080 so not really a big deal um since they did get rid of the sim card if you go overseas you can't just buy another sim card and slap it in your phone now so i, I don't know what apple's gonna do about that because with the sim card trade yeah, if you leave the country, you can buy another SIM card in that country and still use the phone. Not too sure what the app is going to come up with that. But the flashlights, I did tell you guys that the flashlights are different. So I noticed that the flashlight is actually a little bit brighter on this versus the, the 13. One downfall though is they still, or Apple still use the lightning port instead of USB-C. And USB-C is just like way faster than, than this guy. But I'm pretty sure most people... Um, don't plug their phone in to like transfer data. I think everyone airdrops everything now. So if you're gonna, you know, have video clips you can send to your phone and stuff like that, most people just airdrop it. But maybe the 15, they may upgrade to USB-C, who knows? Cause that, that can, um, that would be a nice upgrade if they do do that. Also from screen to screen, the bezel around here is just a tad slimmer than the 13, but no one's gonna notice. You're not gonna notice. And since the screen is brighter on this, on the 14, you're going to notice this. So like if you're in the sun, you know how if you set your screen to automatic dim when you're in the sun and not in the sun, it'll dim for you, but it won't dim as much as it did on the 13. So you guys don't like that. But other than that though, going from 13 to 14, you may not really need to unless you're a tech person or you have to have the newest stuff. And speaking of that, to all my people out there that upgrade their phone every year, if someone tell you or question you why you upgrade every year, that don't make sense. Tell them that Shaquem said to mind your business. Mind your business. It's your money, you know, your phone, buy what you wanna buy. I've been starting to do unboxing and reviews on, on the iPhone, so that's why I've been upgrading. Before this 13, I actually had a 11 plus. This was called, yeah, 11 plus. Yeah, I had 11 plus. And before the 11 plus, I had a, what the heck did I have? I had an eight plus, I think. So I usually never upgrade every year because they really need to because Phone does what I need to do, but now I'm doing these unboxing and stuff. Now I'm just upgrading every year. Like I said, I slept on this one. I didn't get it as soon, the earliest I could have, but it's all right. When the 15 come out, we'll probably do that. Speaking of upgrading, I know that there's some, I guess, deals of trading your phone. If you trade into Apple, they give you like um, 750 or something like that. And then if you trade in with T-Mobile or at t or one of the carriers, they will give you up to a thousand. But the kicker with the thousand dollar is that you only get a thousand 
if you keep the phone for um, two years, because usually if you buy a phone and you add it to your phone plan, instead of paying cash, like the full amount for the phone, you pay monthly for it. And most people do that is add $30 to their, um, to their bill or whatever. Um, what will happen is if you trade your vehicle with a, with a carrier, instead of it being $30 per month, it'll be like eight or $9 per month. So that's how it equals up to the thousand. Cause if you pay $8 per month for two years, and you see the savings there. So I'm pretty sure most people don't know how that works. So it's kind of give you a heads up. Another clutch way to do this too, is if you're buying it directly from Apple and they give you 750 for it and you buy it for your Apple card, you get 3% back on your Apple card from the whole purchase too. So it's kind of, you know, it's, you know, you're going to save money regardless, whether you do the Apple's way or you trade in with the T-Mobile carrier. The only thing is too, is if you trade in with, I said T-Mobile, it's everyone, AT&T, T-Mobile, whoever. But if you trade in there and the next iPhone come out next year, you're most likely going to trade in earlier anyway. So you may not even get that full thousand dollar discount because you have to be making those, that the, the smaller payments for two years. Is it two years? Yeah, I think it's 24 months to take advantage of that. So keep that in mind. What I can't wait for is to vlog on this because most of my videos is on my phone. I know I'm vlogging the camera right now, but when I'm out and about, mostly everything was on my 13. And uh, since the, the camera quality is a lot better, the front camera got better, the, all three of the rear cameras is better. I want to see how vlogging will look in 1080 versus, you know, how it did on the 13. I think it would be super cool. The next few videos you guys will get to see, because like I said, we have a trip coming up, actually today, actually, we leave tonight. And stay tuned for my next vlog to see where we're going. The gold, like I said, it just hits different. Like, just like the 13, it's just beautiful. What's really um, what's really too bad is that it's gonna be in a case, you know, like that's why I got the clear case though, but it's gonna be in a case and you don't really get to enjoy your phone because our phones are in cases. Apple was claiming that these are the hard, most toughest screens they've ever put on iPhones and they're durable and they're um, dust um, proof and water resistant and all this other stuff. But end of the day, everyone is gonna put their phone in a case unless, you, you know, you got money like that where if you drop it, you don't care, you buy another one. I see some people just rock their phones with no case. But yeah, even in the clear case though, it still shows up the gold. The gold is very faint. You know, it's like, it's not like gold gold. Like the bezels is gold gold, but the back is kind of like very, very light, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I can't wait to vlog on this thing, see what it's like. Like I said, the camera just got way better and I may record an 8K just to see how that looks like as well, but Apple just didn't disappoint, you know, minus the, the few things I told you about, um, especially the, especially this guy, that's a big, it's a big downgrade that they didn't upgrade that, but I guarantee you the next phone they probably will. And also the new iOS just came out, this whole dynamic uh, island thing that everyone is trying to get used to. Oh, I, can you see? Oh, you can't see. I was trying to show you guys. So you can see like the camera and the sensor like it stands down. I guess some people are complaining that. I guess some people are complaining that we're showing. I don't know why that's something you complain about. You know, we're gonna we're gonna play with it. We're gonna test this thing out. So I appreciate you for watching. If you have any questions, please give me a give me a call. What am I talking about? I'm thinking I'm at work. Um, drop a comment below. Uh, let me know if anything I can answer. And Shelly's. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full review on the purple iPhone, but I do want to kind of look at it more closely. So next video. Next vlog, actually, we'll probably do that. So stay tuned for that. And I will see you guys in the next video.